Hey everyone, it is Christy with The Social Easel and we are gonna paint a fun little Christmas topiary tonight. So that's what you see in front of you here. So I'm gonna give everyone a second to hop on, make sure we can see and hear everything okay. So as you guys are jumping on here, please let me know where you are watching from tonight. If you are new to The Social Easel, uh, new to me, my name is Christy. I'm the owner of The Social Easel, and um, I am actually a guest on a few pages tonight. So if you are seeing me pop up on one of my friends' page, you're not in the wrong place. They are sweet enough to let me be a guest artist on their page tonight and hang out with you guys for the evening. And we're going to do a fun little project. So. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see the sketch. This is a really rough sketch. Just a little idea of what we're going to do tonight. So I'm super excited to have you guys here. Hey, Michelle and Brenda and Liz and Stacy. We got you from all over. Yeah, let me know where you are watching from. Let me know if, um, because we're on several people's pages tonight, let me know if you like painting, if you have painted, um, if you want to learn how to paint, because that is what I do. Um, I teach people from literally all over the world. We have a global membership now, um, and I teach them how to paint every month inside of my tribe membership. So if you're wondering what that banner is across the bottom of the screen, that is what that's all about and um, why they're letting me be a guest artist on their page tonight because we are opening doors to new members and we only do that a couple times a year and today is the last day to get early bird bonuses if you sign up and become a member so i'm going to be talking about that throughout the paint class tonight but we are going to do a full mini painting tonight as well Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Pamela from Tennessee. We've got Sharon from Ontario, Ontario, not Ontario, Ontario. Denise from Virginia. And let me know if you are already a tribe sister. Comment um, in the feed. You can type in tribe sister. You might be a painting of the month club member of mine. So let me know if you're one of my current members so I can welcome you and say hi. My team is going to be in the chat tonight as well helping answer questions. So if you guys have questions for me, please feel free to ask them while I'm teaching. And if I don't know, he's gonna be there to um, help answer those questions for you. So again, we are gonna do a cute little topiary tonight. Hey, Miss Tammy, tribe sister. Cheryl is painting of the month club member. Welcome, welcome. So. This is just a rough sketch I did. And if you're wondering what's on the other side, this is for something we're doing tomorrow. I'm gonna to make a cute little sign with some Christmas trees, farm fresh Christmas trees. So if you wanna come back and paint with me again tomorrow, you can. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and sketch this onto my canvas. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my face off the screen because that way I can zoom in a little bit closer to the canvas so you guys have a better view. So I'm going to remove me. So I'll still be here, but I'm going to make this bigger for you. Get my buttons all right here. And I do want to quickly show you. So I'm talking about this is the last night to sign up to become a tribe member, which is my VIP membership where you get to learn three new paintings every single month with me in a private Facebook group. You get immediate access to over 135 tutorials in our library as soon as you become a member. And if you join tonight before midnight, you also lock in this early bird bonus and you get these six bonus paintings. If you're new to me and new to the social easel, this kind of gives you an overview of my style. So I teach all different kinds of styles. We teach acrylic painting, palette knife, mixed media. Um, if you can paint it, I probably paint it. So um, those are the bonuses that end tonight. And to become a tribe sister, the cost is either $47 a month or $470 for the year, and you get two months for free. So that is just a quick overview so you can see what that bonus is. And I'm going to take that back off the screen so we can get a full 
page here for you. So I'm excited to get to paint with you guys tonight. So I love topiaries. I think they're super cute. I'm going to sketch this on here. And if you guys are excited about this, go ahead and start sharing with your friends. Just hit the share button and let us know in the comments that you shared it because Megan on my team is going to be picking a winner tomorrow morning. Um, and someone's going to get some happy mail from me. So it could be an ornament. It could be a keychain, a little piece of art. You never know. So I'm making the bottom of the topiary kind of pot right now. And again, this is just a sketch. So if I feel like I'm kind of getting this out of whack here, I'm going to be able to go back and fix that. Kind of have our top circle there. Let's do our bottom one. Slightly bigger. Right about here. I think I make I may make this pot a little shorter. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you are a painter, if you have done any of this, or if you're more of a crafter or um, a wreath maker, which by the way, those of you on Damon's page with Deco Exchange, Damon has several of my art pieces in his store that you can buy to put in your wreaths, but you can also learn how to paint your own little paintings to tuck in your wreaths that are really gonna help them stand out from your competition as well. So that's a fun little thing you can add to them. Thank, thank you, Patty, for sharing. Catherine says, not a painter. Terry is. Well, hopefully by the end of this lesson tonight, you may have sparked your interest and maybe you want to try it out. So I think that's about the shape that I'm looking for. I might taper it in just a little bit more. Does anyone else love topiaries? I think they're so cute and festive. So we're going to make this a Christmas version. But here's the thing. Even if I don't like my sketch right now or I feel like I want to change it, I can always come back and do that. Olga says, I am a crafter, aspiring painter. Awesome. Donna says, I do all the things. Debbie said, not a painter, wishful. Well, I hope I can inspire you guys tonight and you enjoy painting with me. I have, just to tell you a little bit about me, for those of you that are new to watching me, hold on, I got a clog in my paint bottle here. I have been an artist my whole life. I have been teaching other people how to paint for about the last nine years. And I've had my membership for the past three and a half years and been teaching online. And I absolutely love it. So I used to teach in-person paint classes here. I'm from Springfield, Missouri. Um, and now I get to teach online with you guys. So it's a ton of fun. Even if you have no experience at all, that is most of the people who have started out with me had never painted before. And now they are painting up a storm and they have found that they have this little inner artist inside themselves that they didn't even know they had. And that is my hope for those of you that are new to it. So I'm doing something maybe a little different than you've seen before, but I'm going to paint this whole background black right now. And this is just step one. So you'll probably hear me say it a fair amount that you just got to trust the process because painting is a process. We were joking in my group the other day. It's going to look ugly before it looks pretty, right? You got to go through the stages. So something that I like to do on some of them, not all my paintings, I like to paint the background black first and then put another color over top of it and allow some of that black to show through and for it to be around the edges of our object. And hopefully you'll see why here in a minute when we get to that step. So I'm just going to do black all the way around here. I am just using just a nice size round brush right now. This one I think is like a number nine. Just going around our shapes. And again, I can change these all the time. I'm not stuck with anything that is on my canvas. And I'm just using regular black craft paint. Nothing special. 
Awesome. Becky said she went to college in Bolivar. Love the Springfield area. Yep, that's about 30 minutes away from us. Hey, Damon. Thanks for letting me hop on here tonight. Hope you're having fun at your mastermind. And y'all, I did get Damon to actually paint and Parker, and they both did pretty dang good. Got them out of their comfort zone a little bit. Now, I'm not worried about painting the sides right now. I'm probably going to come back and do that. I'm just getting all the way on around my edges. I may paint them solid black on the sides. I may do like a black and white check. I'm not really sure just yet. Um, Lisa said, what size canvas are you using? Uh, this is just a little eight by 10. And I love these little canvases because you can use them as shelf sitters. I love mixing my paintings into my home decor. You can tuck them in wreaths um, and you can frame them and hang them on the wall too, but they're just cute, fun little paintings. Thank you guys for sharing. If you just came on, if you want to get entered into the contest to get some happy mail from me, just share the video with your friends. Let them know we're going to hang out and make a little Christmas painting tonight. Okay, so I'm going to let the black dry before I mess with the background, okay? And I'm going to grab some dark hunter green. Hey, Kate. And you guys could choose to make these colors whatever you want to. I'm going to go a little bit more traditional. We're going to do some greens. This is going to be like a boxwood topiary with some red berries on it, um, probably a little bow. Um, and then I'm going to do black and white stripes on the pot that it's sitting in. So for this base coat of our topiary, I'm just going to get what you see on my palette right now, the wet paint. I reuse palettes all the time. This is just like a dark hunter green and black. And I'm actually mixing them together a little bit more because I like my greens to be even darker. So I'm just going to go around in a circular shape. Again, I'm not too worried about making this perfect right now. This is a base coat. For those of you that are new to painting, when you're painting with acrylics, you want to do everything in thin coats if you know you're going to be putting a second coat on there. I may have to change. I think I need to line my circles up a little bit more. So we're going to put a nice thin coat of our green on here first. Maybe make that one a little bit bigger. And we're going to let that dry and then come back and put a second coat on. And that's where some of the color will come out. So I know it looks like it's all blending right now, but it will not at the end. Is that about centered? I feel like it's still just not quite. All right, I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. Thank you for sprinkling, sissy. Hey, Sharita, new tribe sister watching from Tulsa. Good morning, Colleen from Australia. I'm telling you, have got people everywhere. So this is a little bit of like a burnt umber. I'm going to get a smaller round here, wipe my excess water off. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull a little black into that brown. You guys are going to be shocked when you can actually see this topiary. <laughs> but right now, I don't know if that helps for me to tilt it. You can see those colors a little bit more. And then I'm going to get some 
white. Got a different white. There it is. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit of white and a little bit of a metallic. I have this titanium gold. I love all metallics. You can't go wrong with metallics. So any brand, any metallic you want is good. Just a little dot of that. So we're going to fill this sucker in with white paint. Just a real thin coat of white. And I'm not going to worry too much about getting my lines perfect on here because I know I'm going to be coming back and adding to it and adding some detail lines at the end. So the most important thing to remember if you are just starting out painting is that mistakes are okay. And that means you're learning. And that if you mess up, it can be painted over. So... No need to stress about it. I'm going to grab a little bit of that metallic and just streak it in here just a little bit. Nope, see, I went out the lines there a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, if you guys missed it last night, we did a fun paint night last night where I did the four season trees. You can go back and catch that on the Social Easel um, Facebook page, or you can go to my YouTube channel if you want to rewatch that live. Another fun painting for you. Okay, I'm going to do a quick blow dry. While I'm doing that, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments so I can answer those. Uh, Cindy, the social easel is the name of my business and I teach people how to paint with acrylics. And tonight um, is the last night. We're talking a little bit about my membership called Tribe. It's my VIP membership um, where you can join and learn how to paint with me. You get three paintings per month with me as well as a guest artist or speaker. Um, so that's what we're talking about tonight. And I'm just showing you guys some fun little paintings that you can try out. I'm looking for my big round here. Here, this is a good size one. Thank you, Kathy. I'm glad you enjoyed watching. Um, Amy said, when you become a tribe sister, do you also um, have access to Texas Art and Soul? No. So Heidi um, is the owner of Texas Art and Soul. I am the owner of the social easel. Heidi is just letting me be a guest artist on her page. Um, we partner up together um, every once in a while because we both teach ladies how to paint. Heidi teaches more of the business side of things, and I teach more of the actual painting. So um, inside the membership or any way that you paint with me, you can buy individual tutorials from me. You can um, be a member of the Painting of the Month Club, but we only open Tribe twice a year to the public. Um, so inside Tribe, you do have permission to use my paintings for in-person paint parties only. So unlike Heidi, I don't allow online teaching, just in-person paint parties, no kits or anything like that. But if you do in-person paint parties, you have a plethora, you have a whole library of over 135 tutorials to choose from. And they really help with your paint night business because back when I used to do paint nights and constantly having to come up with ideas Every single month, it gets a little daunting. And so you can use my designs and paint them and then share what you've painted with your customers um, to
to see if they want to do that as a paint night as well. You also have permission to um, sell any of the paintings that you make in Side Tribe. You can sell them at craft shows. You can sell them to friends and family on Etsy. So you have permission to do all of that with the designs as well. This color of tan that I'm using is called Burlap by Deco Art. Um, Tamara said, where do you get your brushes? These are from my Amazon shop. I've got an Amazon store with all my favorite art supplies. This is from my round brush set inside my store. They're called Nick Pro. But we'll have the team put my Amazon link in the comments if you guys want to check that out so you can see where I get my supplies and what some of my favorites are. So I'm just going in and kind of filling in the background around this right now. Welcome Thelma said she just joined Tribe Sisters. Um, Connie said whenever I've painted in the past it was with acrylics because I was scared of oils. What's the difference? So there's a lot different about them. Oils um, take days or sometimes weeks to dry. They are not water-based, so you have to use turpentine and mineral spirits. Um, it's just a completely different medium. Acrylics dry super fast within minutes, depending on their thickness. Oils are, you work with blending a lot more because they don't dry fast. With acrylics, kind of like what I was telling you earlier, if you mess up with acrylics, you can just let it dry and paint over top of it again. Um, the Inner Tribe, uh, Laura was asking, how much is it? The Inner Tribe is $47 a month or $470 for the year. And that gives you immediate access to over 135 tutorials in our membership library because we've been around a while. We've been around for three and a half years. So we got a lot of tutorials in there, all the seasons, all the things. And then it also gives you immediate access to our Tribe Sister Facebook group where our community is. And inside the Facebook group is where I teach monthly. And I teach three brand new paintings per month inside the tribe. And then we also have a guest artist or speaker in there each month. Uh-oh, Sharita said she's got tornado sirens going off. Be safe. Hopefully it's just passing over. Awesome, Gail. It said she just joined Tribe this afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Hope I've got a little brush hair on here. Hang on, let me get this guy off. So I'm just mixing a little bit of burlap and white. So I want there to kind of be a mixture in the background here. And I'm just going to put it on real messy. I want there to be a little bit of black showing through there. We may or may not put a table underneath this. I think I may just leave it kind of freestanding. Um, Nancy said, are you allowed to use the guest artist work? That depends on the guest artist. Some of them have different rules than others. Most of them will allow you to like sell your original work, work with it, um, possibly teach it at um, local paint nights. Nothing inside our group is allowed to be taught online though. Okay, so now I want to add just a fun little element to this, just to give it a little bit more interest. And with this paint still wet, we're going to add some scribbles in. So if you have painted, sorry, let's go to the table. If you have painted with me before, you've probably seen me do the scribbles. If you haven't, this is something I sometimes like to do in some of my art. So Bobby said, why did you paint the background black and then cover it? This is why. Number one, you can see that black through there. It gives a little bit of the grayish color. That's one reason. But here's the other. 
We're going to make this a little funky and fun. We're going to add some scribble marks in the background of it. And then we can decide to leave it like that, or we may scrape and add even more texture and paint on there once it dries. So it picks up a little bit of these dark areas, but then leaves the light as well. If you haven't ever scribbled in paint before, it's really, really fun. And that color that you're seeing, because um, I always get this question whenever I do this, is not from the lead. You can see this is completely covered um, in paint because this is what I use it for. Um, this is the black showing through. <laughs> Pauline said, I was just great, afraid to scribble my first time, but now I love it. It is so fun. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit lighter green now. I don't need much paint for this small painting. I keep having to remind myself that when I'm putting it on the palette. Has everyone here entered to win some happy mail? If you haven't and you would like to, all you have to do is share or sprinkle this video with your friends and then come back in the comments and let us know you shared it and you're going to get entered to win some happy mail from me and Megan is going to pick a winner tomorrow morning and we will announce it on this post. Okay, so I'm going to go back with a little bit of just, this is just the hunter green straight out of the bottle and we're going to start kind of dabbing that around here. I'm not going to completely cover up that dark because I want a little bit showing through. I'm just dabbing it on. You don't need a ton of paint for this. I'm going to hold this up a little just so you can kind of see a little bit more of what I'm doing. You're really going to be able to see it when I add the lighter color in. Awesome. Patty said first time watching and she shared. Thank you. So I'm going to grab some of this lighter green here and just dab that in. Oh, I already like it. Look at the difference, just doing a little bit of these little dabs of the lighter color in here. I kind of like to rotate my brush when I'm doing these dab marks too, so they don't all look like the same brush stroke. If you start seeing a pattern in there, you need to change it up. So you see the starting to look like little leaves in there. This, um, I switched to a filbert brush for this. A filbert is just a little bit of a curve. So we're gonna let that dry. And then we may come back and add some even lighter green to it in some areas and maybe even a little bit of darker. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like once it once it dries because the dark and the light kind of start mixing together. I want to try. I say we're going to wait, but sometimes I get impatient. I'm pulling a little bit of white into my green, my light green. Let's just add a little. Let's see what that does. Make sure your brush strokes are overlapping each other in some areas. Again, we don't really want a pattern. Kind of 
kind of want a modeled look here. I'm liking the way that is coming together. Thank you, Leslie. I'm glad you're excited to be here. I'm digging it so far. I'm going to grab my, put that in the water, grab my small round and go back with a little bit of the, just the brown straight out of the bottle. Make that color stand out a little bit more. Thank you, Gina. We are glad to have you be a part of Tribe. I think it's already getting cute. Now, I forgot to put my bow on there when I sketched it. So you know what I'm going to do is just do kind of a little bit of a bow shape here. One, I'm doing it now so I don't forget about it because sometimes I just do. I'm only going to do this part right now because we'll let the other part hang over. We'll let the tails hang over this pot. The fun part comes in when we start adding all the details. What did you guys see that I'm missing? I saw someone say they saw there or was a lady to the right. Is that what you guys are talking about? All right, so I'm going in with this smaller round. And I'm going to go into black and I want to add my stripes to my pot. Now the great thing about the black right now is we want black on the outline, so I don't have to worry about at all if I go outside of these lines a little bit. Oops, I just dropped some dried paint in there. Get off. So just using a small round, plenty of black in my brush so that it spreads. You're going to have to reload. So you'll get more use. The more you paint, you'll get more use to how much paint you should have on there. So my style is a little wonky. We're not trying to be super realistic. We're just making some fun paintings. So I do not go out of my way to make sure everything's spaced out and even. Can always come back and tweak it if we feel like we need to. If I want to add a little bit more white on this outside or touch that up, I can do that once the paint is dry. And my scribble. Okay, you guys were talking about. I have a scribble lady over here. I'm not seeing it, but I think it's because I'm too close. We've got some Picasso style sketches in, in the background here. Yes, I am going to do a red bow. So whenever you're doing something like red, especially, um, you want to have a base coat of white because it's just going to give it more... Um, it's going to make it easier for it to show up and you'll have to do less coats of the red. So around the outside of my topiary, I'm, I've got like a fine liner brush now. And we're just going to go back around. And I'm just kind of dragging around here. To put this black outline around it.
And it's going to kind of separate the topiary from the background. See how it's already kind of separating the two. Um, Angie said, you always leave brushes in the water. Uh, definitely while I'm painting, yes. I don't like to dry them and lay them flat because they still have a little bit of residue of paint in them. So I don't lay mine flat to dry until I actually wash them with soap and water. I'm going to pull this out a little bit further here because I know I'm going to add a little bit more white over there. Hey Sherry, thanks for joining us. First time watcher. All right, so I feel like I like my black outlines. Again, we will be adding more, and we're going to add a tail to that bow. But I want to let the black dry first. It's already looking cute now. It just looks like a little bow tie. Hey, Sue from Australia. I'm going to go back into my white. Anywhere I want to thicken my white lines up, I can. I think I'm going to come back with that metallic gold that I had in the beginning and do that separate when it's not wet so it stands out a little bit more. And if you are worried you have too heavy of a hand, one I really recommend getting little detail brushes. Um, the other thing I'm recommending is that you get like a mixed media pad. Um, it's in my Amazon shop if you're not sure what that is. But um, it's basically like a sketch pad for painting. So you can practice your brush strokes and you're not just going straight to a finished piece of art where you feel like it has to be perfect. I try to break people of that, but those perfectionist tendencies tend to linger a little bit. I want to get you to the point where you can just have fun learning new things, trying out new stuff with your painting, and seeing what you learn. Joni said, what do I do with all my art? A lot of it is in storage. I donate a fair amount of it as well. I'm probably going to have to start selling my original pieces next year because I'm running out of room in our storage unit. Oh, hey, Angie said she just shared. She's from Springfield too, but she's in Tennessee right now. Awesome. Amy is now a tribe sister. Welcome, Amy. Okay. I think I want to do another quick blow dry so I can keep adding to it. What do you guys think of the process so far? It's getting cuter with each thing that we do. Thank you. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this tail out here. One, we have to have our little connecting piece in the middle for our bow, right? And this is going to be a red bow. I think I had a different idea for my gold too. I think I might use my favorite gold 
paint pen. Oh, I think it's going to turn out so cute. This is one of those, this is literally just an idea in my head. And this is the first time I'm creating it with you guys right now. And sometimes I do that inside of my tribe. I call those, I kind of give them the behind the scenes of like, people ask me all the time how I come up with ideas for all of my art. So some of my lessons inside tribe, some are planned ahead and I'll show you a few of those. And then some I'll tell them, here's my idea. I'm going to do, we're just going to throw this out there because I might do it for December, a Christmas llama. And then sometimes I like to take them behind the scenes with me and literally do it from sketch to finish piece of art in the lesson. So there's a variety of different ways that I teach inside there. Yes, I am using a hairdryer. I don't have a cool setting on it. I just use just a regular cheap old hairdryer. Okay, while I'm letting that dry, I want to show you guys the two that are coming up this month in Tribe. I'm going to zoom you out for a second because they're bigger. This is the first one. Can you guys see him? Our winter friends. Cute little snowman. I don't know if you can see the cute little birds at the top. So I love this one. You can see the scribbles in the background of this. And then we paint it over them. It just adds some fun texture. And then my new, this is my jolly old St. Nicholas. Rustic kind of um, vintage type of Santa Claus. So those are two of the new paintings that are going to be this month if you become a tribe sister. So that kind of gives you a little idea of some of the things we're doing in there. They just make me so happy. I love Christmas time. <laughs> um, Karen said, what's your favorite brand of canvas? I do not have a preference. They're all pretty much the same. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon, they're all pre-prepped, um, so it doesn't really matter. Thank you, Desiree. All right, let's get some red. Oh, I forgot I have a red metallic too. Should we try that? I'm gonna do regular red first. I like to have a bunch of paints next to me. Sometimes I just look over and I'm like, oh yeah, I wanna do that. This red metallic has more of like a coral finish to it when it dries. Thank you, Camila. All right. Let's go in with our red. I think this is instantly gonna make this painting pop. What do you guys think? I'm digging the red. And again, I'm just using a liner brush right now from my set. I'm not pushing down very hard. So when I'm painting, like this is how much the bristle's moving. And then I can get nice skinny lines. If you go heavy handed and you just push down, you're going to get a big fat line. 
So you don't need a lot of pressure. If you need help, you know, if your hand's not quite so steady, if you hold your wrist while you're doing it, it'll help you have a little bit steadier of a hand. But one of the keys is making sure you have enough paint in your brush. You will struggle unnecessarily if you do not have enough paint in your brush. Good. I'm glad you guys like the red. Hey, Nan. Um, Nan said, so cute. How do I sign up to be a tribe sister? I'm new to this, and this is my first time watching as well. So, uh, Nan, my team has put the link in the comments. You can scroll down there, or it's in the description of this. Um, and you can sign up. If you sign up to be a tribe sister today, then you get all the bonus tutorials in our early bird bonus. Um, and you'll see those on the page. When you go to the page to sign up, you get six bonus tutorials that are valued at over $200. And you get that as a bonus for signing up on our first full day of accepting new members. So it's our little gift to you. Um, to become a Tribe Sister, you can do monthly in which you can cancel at any time. You're not locked into any kind of commitment. It's $47 a month. If you know you want to hang out with us for a while, and I tell people, know ahead of time, <laughs> do not commit to the year if you're not 100% sure you want to paint with me for a whole year, um, because it is a one-year contract, but you can do the one year for $470, and that gives you two months for free. And then at the end of that year, it will renew you for another year, or you can choose to switch it to monthly or cancel at that time after you've finished your year contract. All right, I am just loving the red bow on there. If you are already a tribe sister, all the bonuses that I am giving to new people joining us, you already have in your library. So of course you're not going to miss out on anything. Tribe sisters always get the best. All right. What do you guys think? Okay. Before I add red, and we're going to add some more detailing to this. I'm going to let that dry. I want to add red to my berries. I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit because I know it's not going to be very long. This is the fun thing about doing a small painting. Gina said, if I signed up to pay monthly, can I change it and go ahead and pay the annual? Yes, Gina, if you would like to switch to become an annual member, all you have to do is email customer service. It's Christy at the socialeasel.com and they can get you switched over. Let's add just a little bit more of the light. I'm using the Filbert brush again. I just like all the contrast and all the different shades and tints of green that we're using here. What do you guys think of the little bit lighter green in there? Um, Lisa is asking, what is included in the monthly fee? Um, so you get um, immediate access to over 135 tutorials in our membership vault. So we have a membership website for all of our members. That's where they access all past tutorials. And then we also have a Facebook group. So it's hosted in two separate places. So you get access to those 135 tutorials, 16 live Q&As, um, technique lessons, bonus lessons are all in the library. Um, and then inside the tribe on a monthly basis, you get three new paintings with me each month, start to finish. I showed you two that we're doing in November with the snowman and the Santa. The other one is the funky winter flowers that I've already taught them. And, um, and then you also have a guest artist or speaker each month inside our Facebook group. And I think the best part is our Facebook community. We call ourselves Tribe Sisters um, and you become a part of that community. And it's just a group of awesome women who are just gonna lift you up and inspire you and encourage you in your painting journey. Uh, Susan said, what kind of paint are you using? I'm just using craft paint. So I have a couple different brands here, but any craft paint, Deco Art, um, Michaels, Anita's, any of those. Um, the size of Filbert, it's a really small one. I don't even, my paint is covering the number, I think. I think it says it's an eight. But here's the thing with paintbrushes and numbers. 
Um, they're different depending on the brand. So I just say whatever brush works for the project you're doing. All right, I'm going to start adding in a couple berries. We're not going to go overboard with the berries. I don't want it to overwhelm. Gosh, I don't even think you guys can see that. Let me hold it up. It's so little. What do you guys think? All right, so I'm looking at this background and I want to change it a little bit. I want some of the scribbles, but I don't want it to be as heavy because I feel like it's distracting from my topiary. So I'm going to pull out another one of my little tricks that I like to do in my paintings sometimes. And we're going to pull out a palette knife. And if you haven't used a palette knife before, they're super fun. Uh, I'm going to get a different palette. And we're going to scrape our pa palette knife all over the background. So I'm going to go back to a little bit of this burlap. Okay. And a little bit of my white. I'm going to mix those together with my palette knife. If you've never used a palette knife before, when you're doing it, you want to get it on the back side of your palette knife, okay? And then you want to think of it like icing a cake. So I can still see a little bit of that texture coming through in a few areas but I think I'm gonna like this a little bit better. And that's the great thing about art is you can always change your mind. Palette knife is really messy and loose and free. So see how you can still see some of that texture back there. You can change the direction that you're pulling your palette knife for different strokes. What do you guys think? Did you like the scribbles better or do you like the palette knife? It's okay either way, because we can all have a different opinion. Uh-oh, didn't mean to do that. We'll come back and fix that later. I got a little overzealous.
And yes, if you still wanted scribbles, yeah, you could even go back over it again, even if you just didn't want as much. Just so you have that, again, just some more fun texture in there. And you'll see it's not going to be as dark now, right? Because we covered up some of that, that darker layer. But you can just kind of keep playing with it until you like the texture that your painting is giving you. Okay, I'm going to go back in my black here, fix where I messed up a little. And I think we're going to start adding some detail work on here. So random question, anyone else out there listening to Christmas music yet? Whenever I'm painting Christmas paintings, I feel like I need to listen to Christmas music. Give a little kind of a loop up there, just a touch of one. Oh, Patty is already watching Christmas movies. So is Janet. I love it. That's what I need to be doing. Get my Hallmark movies on. All right, I'm going to try a little of the metallic I already have on here and streak that in. Yeah, I think I just like this. I'm just doing a little bit of gold. In my white here. I'm liking a little bit of gold in there. I might add a little. Oh, and you know what else I think it needs is some gold feet on the bottom. We're going to have to, that's wet right now. I'm going to have to come back. Let's nix that right now. I need to pull that black and then I'm going to come back underneath it when it's dry. And a little bit of white highlights. It's so hard for me to be patient and wait to put the gold feet on there, but I really think it's going to make it stand out. So that's just our cute little Christmas topiary. What do you guys think? Are we done? Minus the feet that I need to let it dry for. You can see the berries up close. and We could go back um, and add... Let me add some metallic on some of these and see how that looks. So another tip you can use is the back of your paintbrush. 
Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to add glitter. Of course, what was I thinking? Do you guys think it needs some glitter? Usually people either love glitter or hate glitter. Oh, I like the metallic on there. I don't know if you guys can see this yet. I'm going to hold it up so you can get a better look at it. I've got a little touch up here. I got to do. Don't ever worry about your mistakes. Everything can be fixed. Can you see the little bit of shimmer? in those berries. I might have to add a little bit of this gold. This is my gold paint pen that I love so much. I just feel like it needs a little bit more. Can you see that shimmer on there? Okay, I'm gonna blow dry really quick again because I think if I do, I can put the rest of the glitter on, I can put the gold feet on, and then and then I think I'll be done with it. There's one more thing I might do, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you yet. Man, how many times am I gonna whack this table? Okay, my my um red. Drift a bit over here, so I'm going to just touch that up. Anywhere I see a little, a little bit where it messed up. Um, Lisa said, have you ever used newspaper, print, etc. in mixed media in your background? Yes. Yeah, so um, newspaper, scrapbook paper, um, hymnal paper, all that kind of stuff for sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to be careful with the glitter so I don't get it in any wet paint. All right, so I'm gonna use this Holographic Illusions crystal ball paint. It's the funnest, happiest glitter to me. And we're gonna start adding this in. Now it's gonna look white at first right now, but it's not, it's gonna dry clear with all kinds of glitz and glam. Oh yeah, this would be a great idea for a Christmas card. You're right, Sylvia. So I'm gonna hold this up so you can see what it looks like wet. So it looks kind of white and shiny right now. But when I blow dry it, it's going to blow dry. Or I mean, it's going to dry clear. This is glitter paint. So I'm thinking I just want to put glitter on the topiary part. What do you think? I'm thinking that'll look really pretty if that's just all glitter. I'm going to come down here. I'm 
I had our gold little feet on. You can't see them yet because I got to go around them with black. I think I'm going to use my black Posca pen to do that. So black Posca pen is like a little black paint pen. I like to do like some of my detail work in. Add a couple little scribbles around here. I like little accent marks around my designs too. I feel like it just gives it a little bit of energy. Um, Patty is asking how you get the bonus tutorials if you join tonight. They are automatically put in your library. So when you log into tribesister.com, when you become a member, you will see them in your library there. So fun. Okay. The one last thing I said I was going to do, I always say there's one last thing and then I keep going. I want it to have a little, because I feel like there's a lot of empty negative space around the sides. So we're going to do a little black palette knife around the edge and give it a little bit of edging. I think I'm going to have to get more black paint on here though. And I think this will just tie it all together. And this is a fun little technique for you guys to have too. So I don't have to get a ton on here. I'm going to kind of scrape along my edges, okay? So I'm kind of catching that edge of the, the frame. That's what my palette knife is scraping against right now, is that wood on the background. And then you can decide how much you want to come forward. How messy you want it to be on the front of your canvas. So this is all about personal preference, whether you like this or not, how much black you want showing, but I think in this case it's going to help kind of pull everything together. Again, we're picking up some more texture, all that kind of stuff that just makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. I tend to like a little bit more. Kind of like a vignette. And I'm one of those, like, whatever happens with the palette knife happens. And that's how I leave it. And then probably just paint the whole edge black all around just to finish that off. Oh, I think I love it just like that. It's driving me crazy that it's not straight. What do you guys think? I think that was what it needed. I think that was what it needed to be done was that little bit of black around the edges. So I hope you guys had fun painting with me tonight. I am going to pull up 
the screen um, to where I can talk to you a little bit more about Tribe and answer any of your questions, explain everything that you get. I'm going to continue to let this dry. As it dries, remind me at the end if I forget, I'm going to show it to you completely dry so you can see all that glitter on there. Okay, let me pull this back up. I'm just going to do that instead. So this is what the link, when you click on the link to find out more about Tribe, this is what it's going to take you to. Um, Argentina said, would black stripes around the outside of the borders throw the design off? No, not at all. I think they would be super cute around it. If you wanted to, if you're going to do like a shelf sitter and you're going to see the sides of it, then I would, I think that would be super cute to add black and white stripes to it. So these are your six bonus tutorials that you're going to get if you sign up to become a tribe sister tonight. Um, Christie's Inner Tribe is my VIP painting membership. So this is where I spend the majority of my time as an artist is inside this group teaching these ladies all my new designs, all my new art pieces. So I'm going to kind of scroll down to what is included. If you want to find out more about me and my experience, you can stop there. But this is going to give you excuse me, this is going to give you a good overview of what is included when you become a tribe sister. So you get three exclusive painting tutorials each month, always designed by me. Um, they usually, um, tribe is the first place that I teach my new paintings. So if you want the newest, you want to be inside tribe because that's what I do my paintings for. Then we also have a guest artist that can be an artist, a crafter, a business coach. Sometimes um, that's your fourth element each month. So you get something each week. Sometimes it ends up two in one week and then an empty week, just depending on people's schedule. Um, when you become a tribe sister, you get unlimited access to the video library. Um, this is actually outdated. That says um, with 85 tutorials, you actually now have 135 tutorials to choose from. You do have painting rights. You have full rights to teach this at any local paint night. That means an in-person paint night. No teaching online is permitted. No paint kits are permitted with my designs. You get our Facebook community, which is a group of amazing women. We have almost 2,000 women in the group right now. And these ladies are going to be your like total support system. They're going to cheer you on, um, encourage you, um, be there for you whenever you're struggling and um, just keep you motivated. I feel like being a part of a community instead of doing it alone makes such a huge difference. Um, I had mentioned earlier about the learn the process tutorials. This is where I go behind the scenes with you and you get to see me take idea in my head to sketch to complete painting, very similar to what I did tonight. Um, Rita, yes, that is paint parties, paint nights, whatever you wanna call them. Um, that's when you're teaching a group of ladies how to paint. You have permission to do that with um, my designs in the group as long as it's in person. And then we do contests and discounts and bonuses. We're always doing something fun inside a tribe. Your chance to get happy mail from me or gifts. Um, and then I do share my faith in the group. Um, I do not lead with it at the beginning of every single painting tutorial, but I do do devotionals throughout the month. Um, where I just share a little bit of Jesus and what he's speaking to my heart. And I share that with you guys too. So you can choose to um, skip past that if that's not your thing, um, or hopefully it will encourage you. And we have everyone at every level. So whether you're an excited newbie and you've never painted before, or maybe just a very little, you're welcome. You're welcome right into the group because you're probably going to be the majority of the new people that join. Most of the ladies who have been in tribe for over a year now started out just like you. Um, now they have become the budding artist and the polished painter and they're learning more and they're helping others. Um, and then some of them are even at the creative genius level where they're selling the work, they're teaching paint parties. Um, they have an Etsy store, they're selling it in craft shows. So we have every single level of artist 
inside of our group. And these are some of our current tribe sisters. You can hear their stories um, and read what they have to say um, about it as well. You guys may recognize some of these faces. I'm on some of their pages right now. Um, so these are some of my friends that have also been some of the guest artists and speakers inside of our group. And there are two ways to join. You can join for $47 a month and cancel at any time. The payments are automatically deducted each month on the date that you sign up. Or you can choose the yearly level, which is $470 per year, an annual subscription. Payments automatically deduct each year from the date that you sign up unless you want to cancel or switch to monthly at the end of your one-year term. When you do a one-year term contract, it is for a full year, but it does give you two months for free, and that is non-refundable. So I tell people straight up from the beginning, if you are not sure you want to paint with me for a whole year, do not do, <laughs> do, not do the yearly membership. And then we've got a lot of FAQs here um, that will hopefully answer any other questions that you have when you go to this page. So the total value for everything that you get on a monthly basis is three tutorials and one guest artist and speaker and our private community. That's a value of over $215 that you're getting for $47 a month. And then the added bonus is this entire library, full access online library, 135 tutorials, live Q and A's, technique videos, bonus videos, templates, and the tribe. And that is a total value of over $9,000. So you can see after, this is the amazing thing about coming in as a tribe sister right now, is you are getting access to all of that past material for the last three and a half years. And as soon as you become a member, you can tap into all of that. Um, let me see what questions you guys have for me. Yes, it is. Dora said, tribe sisters are like having your own personal cheerleaders. I agree. Um, Phyllis said, can we sell the paintings you teach us? Absolutely. So Phyllis, you can, you can sell them in person, sell them to your friends and family. You can sell them in craft shows. You can have a booth where you sell them. Um, so yeah, you can do all of that. Thank you, Suze. I appreciate that. We are so glad you're excited, Thelma. So does anyone have any other questions for me or team? Is there anything I did not cover that I need to cover? I want to go back to this. Oops, wrong one full screen. Let's go back to that one full screen. Thank you, Eloise. Can you see the glitter now? Oh, look right there. You can see it when I tilt it to the side. Look at all that shimmery glitter. And then we've got our shiny gold down below. Super fun. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Um, just make sure I'm not seeing any other questions here. Um. Kathy, good question. Um, Kathy said, do you have a list of paint colors before each tutorial? On all the pre-recorded ones, every, sing, every single painting tutorial that is in that membership library, the 135 that we mentioned, those all have the color list and template if it's needed for that painting. Um, any of the new ones that I teach each month, I do not list the color list until after I paint it because sometimes I change my mind and then it ended up being more work for my team to go back and change the color list and all, all the things. So um, when you um, paint with me live each month, the color list comes after. I, of course, show you what I'm using during the tutorial, but then the actual color list will come afterwards for you. Awesome, Pam. So glad you joined. And we also have, oh, I do want to mention this. In addition to the color list, we also have color swatches that are on the sides of all the color list because we all live all over the world, all over the United States. Not everyone, not every store you go to is going to have every color I use. So we put the color swatches on the side so you can hold that up to all the different paints in the store and find one that works best for you. Um, but I also teach you color mixing inside the group too. And I can teach you, um, there's multiple lessons of where I have taught you how to mix colors 
um, and how to um, make your own. You saw me do it here with some of these where I did a little bit of uh, color mixing in this lesson. Um, we do not have a color list for tonight. I can quickly just show you. We're not going to make a list for it, though. Um, I actually used white and black. This was the glitter that I used, Holographic Illusions crystal ball and you guys can go back and watch this replay so and then you can pause it and write them all down if you want to this is burlap by deco art also um allison if you want to throw my deco art link in the comments i do have a link with deco art because i partner with them um, on their products because i use so many of them and this will take you directly to their website and that's where i got these so if you can't find them in the store i got them from deco arts website um, I used their Extreme Sheen Ruby. And then this was Hauser Dark Green, Burnt Umber, and Cherry Red. And then the other one I used was Anita's. Uh, you can get this at Hobby Lobby. This one's called Spearmint. If you're buying all deco art anyways, though, um, the color on Deco Art's website is called Desert Cactus. And it's almost identical to this. So if you're just wanting to stick with one brand, you can do that. Um, Barbara said, is a finishing spray ideal? Barbara, I don't ever seal my paintings um, because I just stay in my house. Um, I've got a couple different options. I may go over that tomorrow during a Facebook Live on my page and show you guys some different finishes um that you can put on your art you can do sprays you can do clear varnishes that you actually paint on um so there's several different options and then you can choose what kind of finish you want whether you want matte gloss um, satin so you've got several different options on how you can seal your art as well okay i had so much fun with you guys tonight yeah if you want to continue painting with me and you are not ready for tribe just yet, that is okay. Um, I do wanna let you know, we have Painting of the Month Club, which is another membership that I have that opens on the 15th. Um, we open the 15th of each month with a new painting, and that one gives you one painting per month that's delivered directly to your membership website for only $20 a month. So that is another option or you can hang out with me on YouTube and Facebook for free. And then I sell individual tutorials in my store as well. So there's all kinds of options. If you are wanting to learn how to paint, um, I would love to be your teacher and love to walk you through that. So um, visit the social easel on YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, all the places. It's the social easel everywhere and um, all kinds of fun tips and tricks for you. And we're going to keep doing some Christmas crafts throughout the rest of this week. I'll be back tomorrow during the day. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to do a fun little Christmas tree um, mixed media style. So we're kind of going all the different ways that I teach inside tribe. We're kind of hitting on all of them this week with these live classes that I'm doing with you guys. So um, had tons of fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.